Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Spring is finally here. Yang energy rises during the spring, making it a great season to practice Xiu Dao. Traditionally, Daoist the practitioners adjust their approach to fit this season in terms of energy refinement. For example, during this season, the Yang energy in the universe becomes stronger while inside the body it is also a lot easier to sense the rising energy. Traditionally, Taoist practitioners would adjust their Xiu Dao practice according to the energy change in the universe. I recommend you to respect the traditional approach in dealing with the internal energy refinement process. Let me give you a couple of examples. To strengthen your Yang energy, you can focus more on invigorating your energy by slightly intensifying your intention in practice. If you want to balance your Yang energy since you already have a strong Yang energy rising experience, then you should add less fire in this season. So, adopting the right approach to practice according to your personal situation is the key in Xiu Dao practice. Before diving into today's topic, I'd like to mention that we are in the process of launching the Dao Yi blog and I invite you all to contribute articles for publication and sharing with the entire community. If you are interested, please email us at blog at daoyi.org. I have introduced many Xiu Dao topics on this channel so far. However, I have only briefly mentioned Zhou Tian O orbit circulation. In particular, I have only introduced small orbit circulation O Xiao Zhou Tian in prior videos. Today, it's time to talk about another important topic, Da Zhou Tian or large orbit circulation. It is an advanced and considerably more abstract topic of Xiu Dao, so you may need to watch it multiple times. Topics covered in today's video include first, review of Zhou Tian, second, Da Zhou Tian, third, practice of Da Zhou Tian, fourth, key principles of Da Zhou Tian, fifth, Misperceptions of Da Zhou Tian, 6. Practice time, and 7. Takeaways. So, without any further ado, let's get started. First, review of Zhou Tian. I have introduced the concept of Zhou Tian or cycle of the universe in a prior video titled Orbit or Zhou Tian in Xiu Dao. Link is in the description. In that video, I mentioned that Zhou Tian was a term used in Chinese astronomy as well as astrology to describe the movements of the Sun, Moon, Earth, stars, and so on. About 1,800 years ago, Taoist practitioners adopted this term and applied it to Taoist internal alchemy, or Xiu Dao practice. So, Zhou Tian, a term that originated in Chinese astronomy and astrology, was adopted to describe the practice of internal energy refinement and continues to be used in this context even today. In the same video, I also mentioned that Zhou Tian means the practice of circulating the energy in the meridian or other channels. I also discussed the differences between small orbit practice and large orbit practice, or Xiao Zhou Tian and Da Zhou Tian. According to traditional Chinese astronomy, Xiao Zhou Tian is the term used to describe the rotation of the Earth around its axis, while Da Zhou Tian is the term used to describe the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. In likewise, in the context of Xiu Dao, Xiao Zhou Tian or small orbit practice is the energy refinement 
along the two and the ren meridians. All the energy circulating downward from the front of the body and moving upward along the back of the body, analogous to the rotation of the Earth. Well, the Da Zhou Tian or large orbit practice, at least according to the most popular practice, is the energy circulating upward and downward along the whole body from the head to feet. Analogous to the revolution of the Earth around the Sun. By the way, it is worth noting that different Xiu Dao schools throughout history have had different meanings and circulation paths for Zhou Tian, but in this video, I will use the most popular practice to explain this concept. I recommend you watch my prior Zhou Tian video and then resume this video as it will help you better understand today's topic. Now, let me introduce Da Zhou Tian in the next topic. Topic 2 Da Zhou Tian Da Zhou Tian is the practice based on Xiao Zhou Tian. To circulate and refine the internal energy throughout the whole body, this definition is the simplified one since, in practice, different schools follow different methods according to their own principles and traditions. Da Zhou Tian involves different initiatives of energy rising, different circulation paths, and different ways to handle energetic phenomena caused by the practices. It is a much larger approach compared to Xiao Zhou Tian practice in terms of body area involved, energetic experiences, and benefits, requiring a much more profound understanding of energy practice. Or else, your practice will stagnate at a lower level without ideal progress, which should be avoided by all of Xiu Dao practitioners. So, Understanding Da Zhou Tian is the first step toward mastering it. As mentioned in the prior video, Xiu Dao practice involves different stages in the energy refinement process. First, Lian Jing Hua Qi, refine the essence into energy. Second, Lian Qi Hua Shen, refine the energy into spirit. Third, Lian Shen Huan Xu, Refine the spirit into emptiness. Fourth, Lian Xu He Dao. Refine the emptiness so that it merges with the Dao, and so on. Xiao Zhou Tian or small orbit practice is the first stage. Lian Jing Hua Qi or refine the essence into energy, while Da Zhou Tian or large orbit practice is the second stage. Lian Qi Hua Shen or refine the energy into spirit, thus making Da Zhou Tian a more advanced level of practice than Xiao Zhou Tian. Different schools of Xiu Dao present different sub-stages toward Da Zhou Tian. However, no matter what stage, all Dao's practices focus on the three supreme medicines which include Prenatal Jing Qi Shen. Check out my prior video titled Supreme Medicine in Xiu Dao to understand the real meaning of Jing Qi Shen. A systematic understanding of these key concepts is critical for further practice. Xiu Dao practice effectively boils down to the practice of the three supreme medicine no matter what stage of practice. The difference between any two stages lies in the levels of the refinement process, or the quality of the refined energy, or your own capability in managing your prenatal energy. To summarize, Da Zhou Tian is the second stage of the energy refinement process and thus a more advanced practice compared to Xiao Zhou Tian or small orbit practice on prenatal Jing Qi Shen. So, 
How should you actually practice Da Zhou Tian? That brings us to the next topic. Topic 3 Practice of Da Zhou Tian. As mentioned before, Da Zhou Tian should be practiced after mastering Xiao Zhou Tian practice, or else the result will not be ideal. There are many different ways to practice Da Zhou Tian, but today I will introduce the most popular and safest method that has been used in the Xiu Dao community for over a thousand years. Xiao Zhou Tian is a prerequisite for Da Zhou Tian. So, the rest of this video will assume your background and experience in Xiao Zhou Tian practice. At this stage, your strong energetic experience achieved in the previous stage becomes a lot more subtle and less obvious. You should continue to maintain the same approach without adding too much intention in practice. In other words, you should use a much more subtle and natural approach to managing your energetic experience in order to progress to a more advanced level. Any actual but unnecessary intention during practice may actually hinder the benefits of a Da Zhou Tian. Any further advanced Xiu Dao practice emphasizes its fundamental practice. Follow the natural way. Of course, specific practices require specific mental focus during very specific moments, but the overall approach is a much more natural and subtle way of handling different energetic experiences. To practice the Da Zhou Tian, you should pay special attention to the approach of non action or Wu Wei. Da Zhou Tian practice is meant to let the prenatal energy to function in a prenatal state. Any postnatal approach, including the mind, focus, and intention, would go against the emergency of Da Zhou Tian. Da Zhou Tian can be comprehended as the natural energetic experience, something that should arise naturally without being forced or else it will never happen. So, in the context of the energy practice approach, the real Da Zhou Tian happens in a static stage. In Xiao Zhou Tian practice, the energetic experience is comparatively localized, while Da Zhou Tian practice involves a rather spread out energy exchange between yourself and the universe. Of course, you should not proactively try to exchange your energy with the universe. If a proactive energy exchange occurs regardless, you should still try to limit your mind inside of your body instead of intentionally extending it outward. This is very important and something you should never neglect. Why introduce Xiao Zhou Tian practice, I used the term observation to mean you should observe the energy circulation in your body. On a similar note, I prefer to use the term sense in Da Zhou Tian to describe the practice. In the Da Zhou Tian stage, it is your energetic body that senses the energetic experience. It sounds very abstract, but I'm sure you will understand this in the further through your own practice. The starting point of Da Zhou Tian is still the practice of Dan Tian, since the energy needs to rise up naturally so that your vital energy will be able to circulate throughout your body, which is the refinement process. If you pay attention to these points, you will have a great Da Zhou Tian experience in the future. Now, let's look at some important principles of Da Zhou Tian practice in the next topic. 
Topic four: Key principles of a Da Zhou Tian. Many terms and concepts in Xiu Dao are very abstract, so introducing principles can lead to even further abstractions. Regardless, understanding the key principles is an effective method to comprehensively understand any concept. So let me introduce a couple of important Da Zhou Tian principles. They are first. Do not lead your energy circulation and let it happen naturally. Second, Liu Gen Zhen Dong is normal. Let me explain it one by one. First, do not lead your energy circulation and let it happen naturally. I cannot emphasize this point enough. Very often, practitioners try to lead the energy to circulate through a certain path. Or routine. This goes against the Da Zhou Tian practice. Again, Da Zhou Tian should happen naturally without being led by your mind. So, more than martial qigong practices apply this forceful approach, but it is different from the Xiu Dao practice. Different practices may use the same term, but in reality, they are different practices and should not be confused. Second, Liu Gen Zhen Dong is normal. Liu Gen Zhen Dong is a term used in both Taoism and Buddhism practice. Liu means six, Gen means root. So, six root in this context means six roots of sensations, including eyes, ears, tongues. Nose, body, and the mind. Zhen means shaking. Dong means move or act. Zhen Dong means shaking or reaction. Put together, Liu Gen Zhen Dong is used to describe six kind of energetic experiences that happen during the Da Zhou Tian stage. It is worth noting that it does not mean. All of these experiences will happen, and uh, very often, many people do not experience any of them, but they still reach the Da Zhou Tian stage. So, what are the six types of energy experiences or the six roots? Some common examples are first, the lower back area feels very warm, second, wind blows behind the head. Third, sound in the ears. Fourth, involuntary movement in the body or some body parts such as the nose. Fifth, seeing bright light. Sixth, excessive salivation. Of course, there are multiple variations of uh, Liu Gen Zhen Dong. What I have introduced is only the most commonly used version. The reason I am pointing out this term here is to remind you that even though energy practice should be usually very static and subtle, at a certain stage, the energetic reaction can be very obvious and you should know how to handle it. So, if some or all of these phenomena happen, you should continue to keep calm and maintain the same practice state. I will elaborate on this in the future. In the interest of time, I have only introduced two of the most important principles of Da Zhou Tian practice. Now, let's clarify some misperceptions in the next topic. Topic 5 Misperceptions of Da Zhou Tian. Clarification of misperceptions of a concept is just as effective as introducing the concept itself, if not more. Let me clarify a couple of misperceptions commonly associated with Da Zhou Tian. Those are, first, since the mind is the most important factor in practice, one should use the mind to guide energy circulation, and two, Achieving energy circulation throughout the entire body concludes Da Zhou Tian practice, and the practitioner should move on to the next step. 
Now, let me clarify each of them. First, since the mind is the most important factor in practice, one should use the mind to guide energy circulation. That is a very common mistake. Yes, the mind is the key factor in practice. However, Shudo practice involves the prenatal mind, not the postnatal mind. The real nature of the prenatal mind is to let the prenatal spiritual energy emerge by itself, not to intentionally use the mind to guide the circulation, which would actually be the postnatal mind. This cannot be emphasized enough. Second, achieving energy circulation throughout the entire body concludes Da Zhou Tian practice, and the practitioner should move on to the next step. Another big mistake. You have to know that any Da Zhou Tian experience is just an experience, and the process of energy refinement is endless. As I mentioned in the prior section, there are many sub-stages of Da Zhou Tian, with each sub-stage being a specific process with a specific purpose. At each sub-stage, the energetic reaction and experience may be different, but they are the same thing by nature. So, reaching the Da Zhou Tian stage does not conclude the stage. But in fact, Da Zhou Tian should be continuously refined, even at further advanced stage of practice. Those were two of the most common misperceptions about Da Zhou Tian, along with their clarifications. There are many, many more which I will save for the future. Now, let's look at a simple exercise in the next section. Topic 6. Practice time. Today, I'd like to introduce a simple exercise used to smooth the energy channel in our arms. So you can start at any position. You can stand up or just maintain the sitting position. Then you move up your hands, focus on the space between the hands, then slowly repeat the open and close movement. You can repeat as many times as you want, but at least for, let's say, about 5 minutes. Then use the right hand move toward the left hand, move upward from outside of the hand, arms, then to the shoulders. Then stop for a second, pause for a second at this posture, then turn the left hand, palms push towards the left hand through the arms. But imagine your palms are moving inside of the arms and the hand. And then rotate the left hand, then move the left hand upward from the right hands along the right arm toward the right shoulder. Then at this position, pause for a second. And then rotate the right palm facing upward. And then palms, left hands move downward from the right shoulder through the outer side of the right arm to the right palm. But imagine your hand is moving inside of the arms. Then at this position, then rotate the right palm, then repeat the same movement as many times as you want. But preferably, you repeat this movement for, let's say, 30, 40, 50 times. Then, eventually, you put the palm in front of the body, then repeat the opening and closing movement again. Let's say, repeat for 30 seconds or 1 minute. Then, gradually, palms push toward to the lower dentin area, or you just put the palms on your stomach. Then relax your shoulder, relax the body, and then focus on the inside of the stomach or the area behind your hands. But during the whole process, you should keep your eyes closed. But in the beginning, you can keep your eyes open to observe this exercise. 
so that you can make sure that your movement is precise, accurate, without making big mistakes. Then eventually, you should keep your eyes closed, observe the movement, visualize the movement, eventually focus on the lower dantian area and enjoy the experience. Now, let's move on to the topic 7, takeaways. First, review of the Zhou Tian. Zhou Tian, a term that originated in Chinese astronomy and astrology, was adopted to describe the practice of internal energy refinement and continues to be used in the same context even today. Second, Da Zhou Tian. Da Zhou Tian is the second stage of the energy refinement process and thus a more advanced practice compared to Xiao Zhou Tian or small orbit practice on prenatal Jing Qi Shen. Third, practice of Da Zhou Tian. Maintaining a natural way of energy refinement, which is built upon Xiao Zhou Tian, is a much subtle approach without forceful intention during practice is the key practice point. 4. Key Principles of a Da Zhou Tian First, do not lead your energy circulation and let it happen naturally. Second, Liu Gen Zhen Dong is normal. Fifth, Misperceptions of a Da Zhou Tian First, since the mind is the most important factor in practice, one should use the mind to guide energy circulation. Second, achieving energy circulation throughout the entire body concludes Da Zhou Tian practice and the practitioner should move on to the next step. Remember, both of those are misperceptions and should be avoided in your practice. Also, do not forget to check out the simple energy practice in the practice time section to have an energy channel smoothening experience. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.